All right, we're going to take a turn now and check in with Lauren Kelly, who is chatting. Girl, I almost fell off my chair when I heard about this today. A musical 90s icon. I know you were excited. Oh, I am so excited, Courtney. Since 1996, rock band Three Doors Down have sold over 20 million albums worldwide. Their seven times platinum debut, The Better Life, features a smash hit, Kryptonite. We all love that song. And the band is celebrating the album's 20th anniversary by hitting the road. Lead singer Brad Arnold chatted with me all about the tour, which includes a stop in Houston. Well, Brad Arnold, of course, the front man from Three Doors Down, you guys have been around for such a long time. You've had such a great career. We're such big fans of your music and the entire band here at Houston Life. We're so excited to talk to you today. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here with you. So first of all, let's tell everybody, you're coming to Houston. You're going to be in Sugarland at the Smart Financial Center on July 30th. It's a new tour. Everybody's kind of just antsy and ready to see some live music. Let's talk a little bit about the show. Yeah, this year, it's well, we're celebrating the 20th year anniversary of our Better Life, found, uh, of our Better Life record. And so we're going to come out, play the show, uh, play that record in its entirety. And then we're going to play the songs that everybody knows and the rest of the hits. But um it's pretty cool we got to do this show for the first time last week in colorado and uh kryptonite's first song on the record of course and so we just come out start with kryptonite and go from there and try to make everybody just that had that record and listen to it step back in time and, and listen to it again and uh, have a good time doing it well, let me tell you something kryptonite is probably one of the most karaoke songs i've heard over the last 20 years here's a question for you you got i can't believe it's the 20th anniversary i, I love to ask i know you don't because each of your songs is kind of like a, your baby do you ever get sick of playing that song i don't honestly and you know and and i don't and i don't just say that i really don't get tired of playing it i mean I, I, I might kind of be on autopilot, like singing it sometimes because it's, it's I, I'm not always thinking about it, but it's exciting to watch the crowd sing it every night. And it's, it's, it's really kind of cool now to see, you look out there and you see kids singing it. Did you know that song is like way older than that kid? And so <laughs> that, that kid has known that song his whole life and he's out there singing it with you now. And I mean, it's, it's a pretty cool experience. That's got to be the greatest feeling to just put your microphone out there and let the audience do it for you. And we're not talking just kryptonite. Here without you, the hits go on and on and on. So to hear this album from start to finish, I mean, it's going to take us back to a place in time, right? What's the what's that nostalgic factor like for you? It's really cool, you know. And uh, I was I was talking about it earlier with someone else. Uh, you know, after being off for a year and a half and and everything and celebrating our first record it kind of in a way is a reset to sort of getting the you get kind of even a new feeling to it over again and and so first show back was really fun and we're looking forward to the rest of it and uh houston we love playing there so i mean come on it's gonna be fun brad of three doors down uh we can't wait for it it's gonna be a rocking show fans are gonna know every song from start to finish with you and of course with seether as well tell the rest of the band guys hi for us and we can't wait to see you on stage here in sugarland i surely will and thank you for having me today and we look forward to seeing y'all Still plenty of time to get your tickets to that big show at the Smart Financial Center July 30th. Just head over to HoustonLife.tv for a link. Courtney and Derek, did you see how long yes. Brad's hair got since yes. we've seen him last? He said his wife cuts his hair and she did not cut it at all during the pandemic. Oh, I like the look. Yeah. He looks great, and it is so cool that you asked that question. Courtney, you agree yeah. about whether he got sick of playing that song over and over and over, but it's cool how these younger fans have sort of breathed new life into it. They have never heard it. It's brand new to them, right? Right. Well, I will tell you, Kryptonite is a uh, Little League ball field song of choice. <laughs> a walk-up like walk song. song. It's, playing, it's playing everywhere. I'm telling you, it's still a jam. Awesome. I'll yeah. let him know. Yeah, for I'm sure. I'm huge in Little League. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. Sure thing. Still ahead. This Siblings.